Let's move on to another exercise to learn more features for part design in Catia V5. We shall design this bottle as shown in the picture. If you look at the sketch, the profile consists of several lines and splines on one side of the vertical axis. We will use the shaft command to create a revolved feature of the sketch. In the Catia window, I will first click on Start, then Part Design from the shortcut we created earlier. Let's name this part as Bottle. I will create a point at the center, then start a position sketch with YZ plane as reference planar support and point 1 as origin under projection point. Next, I will use profile and spline commands to draw a sketch as seen in the picture. I will take a minute to apply all the dimensions in the properties window above as I am drawing the lines. This is another way to give the dimension value. Bottom horizontal line is 45 mm. Vertical line is 70 mm. I will switch to the spline command and draw three points like this. Let's apply 40 mm from the V direction axis to this point. Vertical dimension is 90 mm. And the length of the spline is 60 mm. Now, I will switch back to profile command and draw a 60 mm vertical line. Next, I will draw a 50 mm line at 135 degree angle. From the top, I will draw a horizontal line of 25 mm. and then a vertical line of 30 mm. Let me coincide this line with the 50 mm line. Next, I will click on Exit Sketcher and then define the part body as the work object like so. Now, I will click on the shaft command in the sketch based features toolbar. An error window popped open. Let's read the message. It states that the selected sketch has to be closed or to be closed by the axis. In order to fix this, we need to find the self intersecting lines and fix the curve. To proceed further, I will click on OK on this error window and then click on Cancel on the shaft definition window. So, if we zoom in on the sketch, we can see that there is a line protruding out of the sketch profile. One way to make sure the feature wouldn't fail is to right click on the sketch, click on the line object and then select 3D profile. The full sketch thickens to indicate that it can be used for a 3D feature. Here, we can see the warning sign with an existing intersections message. So, let's delete the 50 mm length constraint and make the endpoint of this line coincide with the vertical line using constraint in a dialog box command as shown. Now, if we reapply the 3D profile command, the warning is not seen. Now, I will click on OK on the profile definition window and exit sketcher. I will click on the shaft command again and profile 1 for profile or surface selection and V direction axis for axis selection. I will click on OK to complete this command. You may hide the profile by selecting the profile and then hitting the space key. Shaft command helps with revolving a feature along the specified axis. The solid body of the bottle is now ready. For the next step, we shall create a hollow shape inside the bottle as shown and also apply fillets. To achieve this, we shall use shell and fillet commands from the dress up features toolbar. I will click on the shell command from the dress up features toolbar in the shell definition window. For default inside thickness field, let's type 2 mm. For faces to remove field, I will select the top face of the shaft. The selected face turns pink.
I will click on OK to complete this command. You can see that the model became hollow from inside. Next, I will click on the Edge Fillet command and apply 5mm fillet to the selected faces as shown. At the bottleneck edge, I will apply a fillet of 3mm. We shall now move on to creating a cap screw on the neck of the bottle. To achieve this, we need to create a circle, a plane and a helix profile. Let's see how to do this. I will click on the YZ plane and select the position sketch and then click on OK. Let's draw a 3mm diameter circle at a distance of 25mm from the V-direction axis. and 7mm from the top edge of the model. Also, let's draw a vertical line along the diameter of the circle as shown. I am making the circle alone into a 3D profile. I can do this by right-clicking on the circle, then clicking on the circle object and then clicking on 3D profile. Next, let's create a plane. I will select the parallel through point option for the plane type in the plane definition window. Now, I will select XY plane as reference and sketch to vertex to for the point field. I will click on preview to verify and then click on OK. Now, I will go to start from the menu bars, click on shape and then click on generative shape design. This changes the workbench from sketcher to generative shape design where we can access Helix command from the wireframe toolbar. In the Helix definition window, I will select Helix type as pitch and revolution with the constant pitch option selected. I will update the pitch value to 5mm, revolutions to 2. Select the starting point from sketch 2 as shown. I will also set the axis to the yellow V direction axis. Let's click on the reverse direction button if needed and then click on OK to complete this command. Do you see a helix-shaped curve surrounding the bottleneck? We will use this helix as a profile to create a solid screw shape. In the next step, we will use rib, project 3D elements and shaft commands to make a solid body out of the helix profile and also to smoothen the ends of the helix profile. We are now in the generative shape design workbench. Let's go back to the part design workbench from the start menu. Here, I will click on the rib option from the sketch based features toolbar. Rib feature in Katia helps with thickening a profile along a center curve. So, in the rib definition window, for the profile value, I will select the circle 3D profile and for the center curve field, I will select the helix. I will click on OK to exit this command. You can see that a screw-shaped profile has been added to the neck of the bottle. For the next part, I will click on the end face of the helix profile and select the position sketch command. Now, if I use the project 3D elements command and select the same face, a sketch will be created. This sketch is basically the outline of the selected face. Now, let's click on the shaft command from the sketch based features. I will set the first angle to 90 degrees. For the axis selection, I will create a line. This can be done by right-clicking on the selection field and clicking on Create a Line option. I will now draw a line from the top to bottom on the face. Let's click on Reverse Direction if required. Check the preview and then click on OK. Let us now repeat the same steps on the other end of the helix. The Project 3D Elements command helps with creating a sketch by using the outline of the selected face. This helps reduce rework.
The bottle design is now complete. From the Views toolbar, I can use the shading options to change the appearance of the model. The first option, that is shading, shows the real life appearance of the model. Shading with edges shows the visible smooth edges on the model. You may click through the other options to see all the available shading options. In Katia, we can apply a material to a part model. To do this, you can activate the Apply Material toolbar listed under the View menu bar or upon right clicking on the right side vertical bar. I can click on the part body from the specification tree and then click on the Apply Material icon. This opens up a library from which I can choose a material and then click on Apply Material. As you can see, this action changes the appearance of the model. With this feature, you can even add custom materials as required. Material is a physical attribute of any object based on the kind of material. Its properties like density, mass, etc. are determined. If I click on the Measure Inertia icon from the Measure toolbar, a window pops up which displays characteristics of the part body like volume, area, mass, density, etc. This information is vital while performing analysis on the model. You can right-click on the material name and click on Delete to remove the material property. While we are here, let me tell you about another toolbar called Graphics Properties. This can be activated from the View menu bar from the toolbars list. The color of the surfaces of the part bodies can be modified to be able to identify different bodies, especially when we are working in an assembly design workbench. This drop-down menu shows a list of colors to begin with. The selected color is applied to the selected face or entire part body. If you click on the Graphic Properties wizard, many more graphics options are revealed. In the next session, we shall dig deeper into part design with more exercises.